time. Yeah, I got them. stuff for all my family members. So. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Ooh, go with Game & Watch! Oh, okay. what God's name Fun is fact, this? Fun fact, I took a game off this Game & Watch one. one go. All right, well. <laughs> Honestly, I'm down for it. Game & Watch has a lot of cool tools. We saw Juno use this Game & Watch yesterday versus um, versus uh, Anvi. And now Gons is going to be using it against Pasta. Yeah, Gonza's Game & Watch is definitely no slouch. She's uh. But as you guys saw earlier, uh, Pasta was about to start getting that, you know, the peach pain, as I call it. And uh, Game & Watch can actually up the out of it. So I feel like that is pretty, uh, that is going to be the kind of the bread and butter that we see from Gons. But so far, <laughs> Pasta so saying no. Yeah, I don't imagine this matchup is like too great for Game & Watch, but Gons is also like his own. He's, he's, Gons is his own Gons. entity. It's yeah. Gons. It's Gons. <laughs> On Gons. Gons. On Gons. <laughs> Do it for him. Yeah. Right now, Pasta off to a quick start right now. And it's not going to take much to kill Mr. Game & Watch. He is towardsly one of the lightest characters in the game. Oh, that he, that he counter pulls a bomb, down. but careful. <laughs> Throwing away the bomb. He's like, I don't need it. I got my stock. He had to kill with the bomb regardless. It was the side B, so. <laughs> hey. Gon's waiting for the down smash. Doesn't quite get it yet. Yeah, and now comes the fun part for Mr. Game & Watch. Uh, he's trying to find an in on a character like Peach that covers so many options in front of her. Right. Like Game & Watch is going to net, you know, Taurus is going to want to try to approach on the ground, grab you, then try to get one of his various kill, uh, you options. know, yeah, kill options out of it, but I don't really think that Peach is going to give him the chance to do that. And I mean, Gantz is losing, but... He's not, like, getting hit by all these, like, heavy combos that Peach has. He's really, like, kind of waiting it out. Yeah, so I, I guess, guess it's I, the advantage over Palutena. Right, I, I, I have guess a that feeling could be we the, will uh, see a switch. <laughs> maybe. If he loses the game, I wouldn't be surprised to see a switch. Which, right now, is not looking too good for the boy right now. Gets him Kobe! <laughs> Pasta going for the down tilt, doesn't quite get it. Ooh, up B out, nice by Gons, creating space, gets a dash. He needs this stock. <laughs> Yeah, it's good ovation there from Pasta. Did not get in the sweet spot of that back air. I definitely would have uh, erased Gonza's stock right there. That back throw might take it, and it does. So three stock to one lead for Pasta right now. He's just kind of shooting free throws in the gym currently. And I feel like that's what Gonza has been looking for, this up B, and then the 2-2 two, two. doesn't quite get it. With Pasta putting on two back airs into a fair. Yeah, Gonza again able to find a respite with the down air, but not enough right now. He's really having a, a rough go finding this killing blow. And Pasta playing very patiently now. Ooh. Yeah, I don't blame him. He didn't really have to, to overextend himself. It's the F tilt. Hit him with the chair. Take a seat. Through. Yeah. <laughs> Take a load off. Pasta here sitting very pretty looking for this game one on FD. Well, figuratively and literally, he's just quite pretty. <laughs> yeah, Gons is... <laughs> I think Gons has already also mentally moved on to game two. <laughs> well, if he got that nine, though? If he got that nine, though? Except he got literally the polar opposite of what he wanted. Ooh, four. Not going to be no alive. Didn't nerf that move, too, without me knowing? Jesus. How did I not die to that? I feel like Gons has really caught on to Pasta's Peach Bomber house habits. Well, the first time of the day we saw uh, Beast constantly get hit by Peach Bomber, Gons is really good about avoiding Peach Bomber? Yeah, more or less. Uh, but at this point, I think it, it's too little too late. I don't know if to roll, uh, but Pasta coming out on uh, on the better end of things right there. <laughs> Gons just fished for down smash three times in a row. And I really hope he did. <laughs> I know Gons, and I hope he didn't just point at him and say, "We're going back," because I feel like that. I want to. I want to run it back. No. Oh goodness Don't do this gracious. to yourself, Gons. <laughs> We're going back. Please, please go, Palutena. Play Palutena, please. please. There it there is. And I do want to say it is kind of an interesting uh, change of pace. Uh, you know, you, we saw how kind of potent Lingling Ling was at the combo game. You're seeing kind of a much slower play uh, of Peach from Blazing Boss. He's playing a little bit much more methodically again. Uh, you know, he knows that he's going to be able to get his damage. He's seen a lot more turnip. Didn't see too much turnip, uh, you know, coming out from Lingling. Ling. But nonetheless, though, we're going to see a much uh, higher tiered matchup here. We're going to have Peach and Peach. Much Peach's, more active as yeah, well. Yeah. Peach and Peach's hot green haired sister. Uh, you know, Frozen once told me that Palutena's Zelda's hotter. Green-haired sister. I think Palutena's just everyone's hot sister. 
that's that's my, my, <laughs> that's where I'm going with that. But Gons going out there at the advantage for Stock One. Yeah, Gons' Palu is where he's really made his money in this game. You're gonna see a lot of that. Gons loves to go for a short hop, cross you up, and then grab you out of it. It's kind of it's kind of uh, taking respite from the run behind uh, pivot grab, which you saw a lot of players do in Smash Four. You can see things have already kind of gotten off to a little bit better of a percent lead for him. Pass is going to have to kind of approach a much different way. And Pass actually having a little bit of trouble approaching right now. Almost clips him with the explosive flame for sure. This is a down throw into the back air. Very good damage, lazy explosive flame as a trap. And I love that punish on uh, the Peach Bomber in. Ooh, there you go, good F tilt. That is going to start killing that uh, those higher percents near the ledge, so you know, pay mind to that. <laughs> you can have that back. <laughs> <laughs> when you're a goddess, you don't need to eat vegetables, apparently. Kind of this, like, this interesting neutral just jumping, you know, kind of waiting, because both of these characters' aerials are actually awesome, but it's part of the best best tools that these characters yeah, have. Yeah, I think air to air, like, both these characters are probably the best in the game. That's why I think Peach does such a good job against Palutena, because she's one of the few characters that has buttons that are able to, you know, hurt Peach just as much in the air as Palu can hurt anyone else. Right. Let's Gons see if Gons gives him the shot the here. I feel like Gons has gotten clipped by the parasol, like, five times already. Daxo gets the, uh, the stock gun, though, so. Regardless, you can get nicked as many times as you want, as long as you don't die from it. Oop. Pasta with the pasta with the clip of the turn up, and that'll take stuff too. Yeah, uh, again, hitting Palutena where it hurts, even when without her resources, her up B is kind of linear. So good air dodge by Pasta, but still gonna get hit by the Palutena. Don's perfectly content just staying back and just using that auto reticle. Ooh, there you go. You see Pasta trying to get those low percent combos, but just coming up a little bit short. And great call out on the jump from Gans. Again, I just love how smart he is using this explosive flame, you know, at the ledge. You know, forcing Pasta to recover, you know, either parallel with the stage or a little bit above it, giving him time to react to whatever he's That's doing. That's the first time we saw yep. Gans go off stage for the edge guard. And even though Pasta did uh, air dodge and SD, it was pretty good. Yeah, that's the the beauty of Palatine's neutral area. If it changes you, you are. Uh, they're kind of stuck in some weird like hit lag there. It's kind of like when you get hit by Ness's yo-yo at the ledge. So here we go, once again, making great use of all of Palantina's fantastic nice. ledge trapping tools. Realizes that Pasta's gonna come down with the dare, goes for the up tilt, which is pretty good. Sets him up into a pretty good position. Gets out with the warp. Gets the grab. Gets the back air. He's been really good at getting that, uh, that down throw uh, raw back air. That's kind of a, a hard thing to do with the buffer system in this game. Pasa just continuing to fight right now. Let's see if Gans is giving him the uh, the chance he needs here. And Gans completely sat, completely satisfied, just waiting on the edge for Pasa to make one wrong move, one advantage. They're trying to lurk right now. All Gans really needs is just one grab near the ledge, or maybe a back air. Maybe an explosive flame at this point or an up air. Gon's yeah. kind of sharking around, like, where are you going? Ooh. <laughs> Pasta really stuck in shield here. This is so funny watching it happen. Like, Ooh, okay. That bear's actually going to take that stock. All right, so 132 on the docket right now. Let's see what Pasta has left to make this up. Ooh, okay. And here we go. Peach hurts, we know that. Gons needs this back air, and he gets it, and that's gonna put him right on the scoreboard. Yeah, so we're even up one game apiece right here. I'm sure Gons is thrilled to have uh, you know, <laughs> given away a game like that to uh, <laughs> to Pasa using Game & Watch. So let's see if we're gonna see a different stage choice here. I'm peeping over at, uh, I'm peeping over just at the general area to see what's going on just in terms of uh, matches being played. I believe 6WX just eliminated Adamus, the Joker. All right. So that's an update you can uh, take two to see. There'll probably be a match happening later today. Oh, and Ling Ling over Juice 3-1. All right. Pretty good. So now my theory before of, you know, whoever ends up 
All right, so that means whoever, uh, my theory is whoever wins this set uh, could potentially win the tournament. Staying true. All righty, folks, here we go. Game three coming up between the great Gonzalez and Blazing Pasta. You're going to see a change of scenery here. So once again, you know, a great stage for kind of those weird mid-range uh, zoning characters. You know, Peach, she's going to be able to get at least... Ooh. Oh, my God. God's going for broke right there. That would have been nuts. God loves that down there. He does that quite often. I was surprised that we hadn't seen it already. Did you know Palu does it with her foot, not with her uh, staff? Fun does fact. it with her foot? Yeah. Have you studied that, Kripo? Yes. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> God's off to a fantastic start here. Pasta bleeding pretty heavy. And I just feel like a lot of the times, uh, Pasta's going for these peach bears that are super strong, but God's is just shielding them and meeting them with a the fair. Yeah, like Paladin's like, Paladin's entire kit just works so well out of shield too. I'm still on skills. Yeah, give it like another like 20% that I'll probably get the job done. Like the attempt right there to kind of stay where Gantz is going to be. Uh, hit him with the forward air, but just coming up short right there. There we go. Up tilt it will be the uh, the pain bringer uh, for that first stock for Pasta. So already finds himself at a deficit, but continuing to fight right now. Ooh, gets the, gets the golf club. Yep, four. There you go. Now, once again, Gantz having both the platform above him and center stage, and that's why the stage it's so polarizing what? on the counter. Oh, from the other no. side of the stage. And <laughs> Pasta SD. You hate to see it happen, folks. That back air still doesn't take it either. Yeah, it looks like Pasta, like, uh, on that SD, kind of, like, uh, used the jump when hitting Gantz with the forward air. And now, here comes the hard part for Peach. She doesn't have that uh, fantastic... Uh, there we go, Neutral gets the job. I was gonna say her kid, her killing kid has been nerfed a little bit, but Neutral Air at that high percent is definitely gonna get the job done. I do like these empty hop jumps from Gantz. Uh, you see that just there, he just jumped up, didn't come down with an option, but more so just came down and waited for the grab. I mean, granted, it was it didn't help him, but it was creative. The parry from Pasta is gonna put him a little bit out of advantage, but not after that Palatine affair. It's there. There we go. Nice Pasta. wait. Yeah, that was really, really smart there from Gonza. Now Pasta forced to recover way out from the ledge, but it having enough drift on the parasol to get back. Ooh, just look, John's looking for a jump, but forcing Pasta to stay in shield. Oh my god, you're a I think Gonz would have SD'd, honestly. Yeah, I think he was going for broke right there. He gets, you know, at that point, why not? You have a stock but that to play actually with. saved him. Nice fair from Pasta. He needs this stock now. Down smash is not going to do it. Again, just padding on to the, the damage that Gantz has, but still not enough to get that killing blow. Is that going to be enough? No. There we go. The forward air is enough. So the great Gonzalez goes up 2-1 over uh, Blazing Pasta right now. Unfortunate SD by Pasta this game. I feel like he definitely needed that stock. Yeah, man, you hate to see it happen. Right. So. I have no idea where we're going to go for game four. Yeah, neither of these guys opt to use a tablet. Heathens. Right. SMH. How we dare have you it there use, for a reason, sure. How dare you not use the resources we give to you? FD? Well, I can see FD. Yeah, like that's, FD. I don't think that's a bad stage choice. But which song, Koopa? Which song? Oh, it has to be Dual Zone. Dual Zone's a banger. Are you sure? I'm a fan of the final. Uh, I'm a fan of the final boss battle music. Oh, if we're doing this, then it's got to be. Uh, I love the Super Mario Brothers 2 remix that's in this game. Probably one of my favorite remixes. I in the thought game. Gons was the one doing this. Pass is actually the one picking the song. Gons is the type of guy to be like, wait, are we? Are we? <laughs> you know, Gons. Well, if Gons was picking the FD stage, you would have picked the Dr. Mario. You would have picked the Mario Brothers stage. With the Paper Mario uh, medley in the back, so. Right. All righty, folks. This could be potentially the last game for Blazing Pasta and winners. We're going to have the Mario Paint Melody, <laughs> uh, which has been the, the theme for the last couple of uh, games on this set. 
Gon starting off with the Palutena of Cheese, two Nairs. <laughs> Already has Pasta off the stage, but a little bit of the tilt, like, hey. Oh. Yeah, Nair does everything. That's a that's a good ass move. Needs to say though, let's see if uh, I'd like to see Pasta maybe take like a little bit of a slower approach uh, in neutral. Beautiful explosive flame met in the air. Oh yeah, Gon's is one of the best at using landing explosive flame in the air. He's just so good at getting the angle in which it'll cover him on safely landing on uh, stage from jumping from the ledge and stuff like that. So pay attention to that when the gods is in disadvantage. I feel like a lot of this set has just been like gods really putting putting Pasta at the corner, off the stage, and then just the edge guard. Ooh! Nice back air to meet the Peach Bomber. Yeah, Palutena's back air, while it doesn't have as many iframes on it as it did in Smash 4, still a fantastic uh, tool to just stuff out most, uh, you know, approaching options. Right. Pasta for the first time had an advantage. Yeah, but Gon's able to sneak under with that uh, dash attack. Good jump forward here once again. Trying to keep Pasta in it at the ledge. Gets the tilt, doesn't get the follow-up. But there it is. Yeah, I love the way Mike Hans. He's yeah. such a patient player. Yeah, he didn't punish here dodge immediately. He put himself in a position where when he double jumped, he'd still hit pasta. So very, very smart stuff from Gans. Warp on stage, gets him to grab. And that up there is going to take his Jeez. first stock. We're dead even here in game four. Yeah, neither guy wanted to give an inch right now. Once again, Gans going for uh, the, the crazy option right there. But pasta, here comes the paint Ooh. trade from Peach. All right, so he uh, can't confirm he doesn't know how to do the, the crazy combos. Right. Just opts not to, you know, use them all the time, I guess, but. Pasta not getting the edge guard. But here comes Gons firing back. Yeah, oh, that is a, yep, that's gonna be an SD from Gons. No, oh, it's is not. what I would say. Liar. He buffered the air dodge. I didn't think he was gonna have enough uh, height to make it back. Gons really waiting this out. Still playing pretty aggressively, even though he's the one at he's the one over a hundred. Ooh, I loved it. He's like, all right, it's coming. Is that, that gonna be it? That will. Just kidding. Ah, uh, there we go. That was gross. Can I? <laughs> I like my peach. Like I like my friends in the group chat. Roasted. There we go. <laughs> Up smash. Able to close out that stock once again. So you know, when Gon takes the lead, Pasta doing a phenomenal job at closing the gap. So. Good rollout by Gons there. He was about to eat a lot of percent. He's lucky he only got 36. Yeah, for real. It's just so scary sometimes against Peach, man. Like, <laughs> you just get touched and I want to yell. It's like, please stop. But please like, stop. <laughs> you know that you know that that meme of the dog with the coat that says nervous. <laughs> yeah, but you know, Gons bleeding, uh, you know, relatively heavily right now. Let's see if he's able to mount this comeback or if Pasta's gonna send it to game five. Ooh, okay. Dot shields the Peach Bomber. Goes for the up air read, doesn't quite get it. Puts himself on the edge. This neutral is so interesting. It's whoever gets this back air first. Yeah, for real. Not able to fight right now. Gets the air dodge from Pasta. Waits. Pasta gets the fair, goes for the up air, doesn't quite get it. Guns. Sitting at 151. Oh jeez, man. Pasta's looking at the ledge. Great read on the roll from Gons. Just immediately opts for the state positioning with back throw. Is that going to be enough? No, it's not. It'll send Peach upwards. Ooh. The back air. There it, it goes. All for the, commits it all for the, for the grab, but eats a back air instead. And that'll be Gons winning 3-1. Yep, Dropping got. the one with Game & Watch, but still. Yeah, and punching his ticket into winner side of top eight. Uh, and that was... Fantastic on the part of Gans, as we said earlier. Uh, Juice did get upset, so Gans' uh, ticket to uh, you know Grand Finals looking pretty good for him. Like I said, I said that either Gans, Pasta, or Juice is going to win this tournament, and you know we're about one third of the way there. But we right. are going to be switching out commentators. But before for, uh, we now. do, but let's go over the 